Steve Favis is an expert in computer science and advanced robotics. He has been researching the Maui fires and has compiled evidence that the technology exists to have started these fires from a satellite in Earth orbit. He has also confirmed that the CCP had satellites capable of doing so above Maui at the time of the fires. His work has been published on his website, stevefavis.com, and includes everything you need to recreate these findings. The most efficient way to ignite a fire on the surface from a satellite in Earth orbit would be to paint the target in segments by pulsing the laser with an advanced targeting system. To see if this were possible, Favis calculated what it would require to create a meter-wide, mile-long fire. Fired from a satellite, the Earth's atmosphere will absorb and scatter some of the laser energy. And so the laser would need to be in a wavelength range that minimizes this. The most effective wavelength would be in the near-infrared range, which would allow better transmission through the atmosphere. The near-infrared range would be invisible to the naked eye and would also have a minimal reaction with objects colored blue on the Earth's surface. The power of the laser would need to be in the hundreds of kilowatts range, and so Favis based his calculations on a 10 megawatt laser firing from Earth orbit. Assuming that the atmospheric loss amounts to 50% of the overall power and only five megawatts reaches the surface as a one square meter beam, it would ignite a fire almost instantly. If this five megawatt beam was pulsed across a one meter by one mile long area in segments, then the time to ignite the entire area would be roughly 2.7 minutes. And it would only take approximately 8.8 .8 seconds to melt an aluminum alloy wheel. The amount of energy required to pulse a 10 megawatt laser for 2.7 minutes would require approximately 3,220 capacitors, which would amount to about 32,200 kilograms in weight. Using MetLab software and plugging in public data provided from NORAD, he found that satellites launched and monitored by the CCP were directly above the Maui fires at the time of ignition. The CCP's most powerful rocket, the March 5, can launch up to 48,500 kilograms of payload, which is more than enough to carry the required payload in Favis' calculations. But Favis has found that the CCP has much more powerful lasers deployed already. He has calculated that the CCP has up to 70 gigawatt lasers in Earth orbit right now. That's at least 100 times more powerful than what he factored into these calculations. Adjusting NORAD's Default Coordinated Universal Time, or UTC, to the local time zones, Favis found the following. The Olinda fire was ignited at approximately 10.47 p.m. on August 7th. At this exact time, CCP satellite labeled NORAD 53299 was directly over the location. The Lahaina fire was ignited at approximately 6.37 a.m. on August 8th. At this exact time, CCP satellite labeled NORAD 55836 was directly over the location. The Kula fire was ignited at approximately 11.30 a.m. on August 8th. At this exact time, CCP satellite labeled NORAD 53299 was directly over the location. The so-called deep state does not want you to know that deadly lasers of mass destruction are freely traveling above us. And you can check this all for yourself at stevefavis.com where he provides the source code and has developed a specific software program that you can download and check for these satellites yourself. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.